and we're doing ancient vampire tales. Tales from around the world and across the ages. And I'll return today, I think, to an Egyptian, Greco-Egyptian story. And I'll bring in my old buffers just after this one. Um, well, now there's a topic for you. I have been researching ancient myths, and they're all the same. I tell you, I've read it once, I've read it a thousand times. Hermes Tremiscus says this, The life force lies in the heart. If you would live, take the heart and eat it alive. And the closer the creature is to those that you are, the more you live. Yes, yes, yes. But do you know why? Why they said that? Hermes Tremiscus, he's just paraphrasing. He's just aping the old world of ancient Egypt. Did you not know? In ancient Egypt, there were two sorts of time. The time under the sun. The time I have as I am alive. A cyclical time of years. The time of floods. The time of the god Ra. The time of the Ba. The Ba that returns to that god. From whom you only borrow it. Yes, I know that. But what about that other time? The time of Osiris. The time in which the events of your life stand witness. Across time. That is the time of the car. The spirit that is bound to the body. The spirit that dwells in it. As long as its memory lasts. It seems to me that your cynicism, you see, my friend is based on the bar, which you know goes back to that which creates it. But do you not see that ghosts and those things you look down on, they come from the other side, from the car, from the witness we give to others' lives under the gaze of Sirius. Sirius. 